Who wants to introduce, will you introduce Clark? trying to get my head around about what exactly it is, but basically it's a lot of the skills we use to organize, for me, just aren't working the way they're supposed to, or I have much more difficulty. Like, if I was to try and make like a master notebook, for what you guys, would you see, it would just would look like pure chaos. It would be just sheets jammed in, and it wouldn't look like there's any kind of organization at all when in my head I'd be like, oh, it's, yeah, everything's in this pile or in this pile. But one thing I did find that worked really well for me, um, and this is kind of how I discovered that I'm a very hands-on learner, was study abroad. Uh, I went to, I participated in quite a few study abroad programs, and sort of immersing myself and getting myself the like super <laughs> stimulation of going to another country, experiencing how they do things, um, it's really helped. It's really helped that, and uh, that's kind of where I do best academically. Um, so <laughs> this is probably the parts you don't want to hear, but uh, when it comes to active learning strategies, <laughs> uh, I'm not actually a huge fan of a lot of the ones uh, people uh, kind of recommend. Uh, they just I haven't found one that really works for me yet, including like uh, like the two column note systems or actively reading. It just it's not really my bag. It doesn't, I don't think it works for me. And uh, I've kind of tried most of them. Uh, so the strategies I kind of use are basically just like take bullet notes or if I feel like I need to take notes for classes, most of the time I don't. Um, I'm also kind of a night owl. I use, most of the time I do do my homework pretty late at night. Uh, I have pretty bad insomnia most of the time, so I'm usually up Anyways, so might as well. And uh, I always, yeah, I always have a lot of problems concentrating on teachers on long periods of time. It's, uh, it's sort of, it's like I can be like on my computer playing a game, but also be listening in and participating in class. It's kind of a weird duality because we talk so much at the school about how there's the myth of multitasking, but. For me, it actually works in a way, uh, which is kind of interesting. So more about me, 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 because this is what it's about. Uh, eating habits. Uh, I'm fat. <laughs> I don't have good eating habits. I admit that. Uh, I do. I have tried getting into cooking more for myself uh, and less relying less on the dining hall. That's why I'm super stoked to be in the bridges. Uh, and typically, when I am at home, I eat a lot better because. 
I live in Boston, so I can get much better quality food. Um, for activities, I'm not a person that likes to hit up the gym. I like doing martial arts. I like doing paintball. I like swimming. So those can be a lot harder to do on a consistent basis. So I try and do it when I can, but other than that, I tend to be very, uh, just kind of stay at home, play video games. Um, so my sleeping habits, as I said earlier, insomniac, what sleep? <laughs> I don't, you know, like, uh, on a good night, I go to bed at 2 in the morning. On, like, a bad night, 6 a.m. So, uh, my girlfriend often jokes that I'm pretty much a nocturnal person. <laughs> and moving on to my future plans. I would really like to go into psychology. I think the way the human mind works, it's such a fascinating thing. Even small, like the, no, like the small gestures we were talking about earlier, like just what's going on in someone's head I find fascinating. And also, I have suffered from depression a lot, and I think of it as a way to kind of pay the help that I get forward. Like, because I know how I'm suffering with that, I can help someone else and possibly relate to them better than someone who doesn't have it. Uh, and I think it's just a great way to try and help people going on. Uh, academic goals, do the, for, you know, plan on going into psychology, but uh, basically for sh more shorter term is like, after I get my A this summer, hopefully, if everything goes well, uh, maybe coming back here, it's sort of up in the air. Like I might go take some extra time off, because um, I do struggle really hard in school, maybe. Well, one of the things with the ADHD is it gets better with age, so maybe taking a year or two might help make that better. <laughs> and for my personal goal, this is a, the live to learn, learn to live is actually a motto for my high school, uh, Proctor Academy, and it's something I've really taken to heart because I love finding new things, I love exploring new avenues, and I think that's something that everyone should try and kind of take hold of, that you really want to learn while you're living, and I think it's just a great little personal motto. Uh, and as for social goals, I'm very sociable, so I didn't really have any kind of goals for that. I kind of love to get along with everyone and try and always meet new and so that's my presentation. If there are any questions, feel free to ask. But I think that's good.